Star Wars is of course a huge open universe and huge open universes hold all kinds of life. That's why today we're taking a look at all these significant creatures on the variety of planets that are available in the game. Some of the creatures are probably known to you, others will definitely be new. If you want a quick overview, here you go, it's on the screen right now. These are the creatures that we found. We're not going to list every butterfly or bird, only the more significant ones, so we get the most interesting uh, creatures, essentially. Pictures of all the creatures are also listed down in the description. First, we're traveling to the blue world of Camino. When keeping an eye out, you might spot the mystical sea flap flap, also known as the Iowa. It's very similar to what we would call a manta ray. It doesn't only live in the oceans though, you probably have seen them flying high in the sky. Sadly, as with all the other creatures, you can't really interact with them. They are more part of the environment than an actual animal, sadly. The next stop is on Pilio, which is only available in the story mode, but they are actually interactable. Even though they are more interactable, they're still not really interesting. Uh, they are the bugs, of course, the name isn't clear. They look like flying beetles, they attack in swarms and make a cementy paste that traps other creatures, including humans, besides this. They are pretty boring creatures, so let's quickly move on. Moving on to Tatooine, there are five creatures that you've probably seen before. If not in the multiplayer of this game, you will probably have seen them in the movies. First up is the common Banta. Very large creatures with curvy horns and a way too large mouth. They are often used as burden animals, which is the reason why it's standing in the middle of Mos Eisley. But there are more creatures here. Besides this, you can also see the Dewback, which is just a giant lizard. It's sometimes used as a mount for stormtroopers, but sadly not in this game. Besides this, we can also notice a creature that's called an Aeopi. Essentially, it looks like a weird camel and of course is used by the locals as a beast of burden. Interesting creature, but surprise surprise, you can't interact with it. Lastly, there is a huge giraffe-like creature that looks similar to the Paraceratarium and it's called a Ronto. They are way larger than all the other creatures in this game, making them also very interesting. But that's it, you can't interact with it, uh, the only thing is that yeah, you, you can walk underneath the legs. Amazing, right? The final creature that we found on Tatooine is a tiny creature called the Scurrier, which is essentially a mouse that hops across the city of Mos Eisley. Not very interesting, but worth a mention. Or at least, I thought so. We're traveling again to the planet of Yavin 4. Or actually, the second forest moon of Yavin 4. It is native to multiple species, but only three are shown in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Most notably are probably the Runyips. They essentially look like piggies with zebra stripes and antlers. They can be they can be seen roaming the swamp on the side of the Stormtrooper spawn. On the other side of the map you can find two other creatures, most notably is the Woolamander, which looks like a really colorful baboon. They can be seen running off not only on this map but also on Kashyyyk, where instead of blue and gold they are red and black. The final creature on Yavin 4 is a little harder to spot since it's smaller and runs in between the bushes. I think it's called a Stintaril, which is some sort of carnivorous rat. It doesn't completely resemble it, because if you look it up, the Stintaril have different tails, but they... I think it looks alike, it doesn't look exactly like a rat, but it has a similar tail, so I'll go for it, I guess. Moving on to Thiet Naboo, here we can find the golden pheasant in flux running around. The creature isn't that interesting and can be hard to find once battle conventions, but it's an actual real life animal and they look quite beautiful. And similar to the scurrier from Tatooine, if you shoot them or there's an explosion, well they don't die, but at least they fall over, right? Realistic animal behavior. Before moving on to our last two planets, we'll make a quick stop to look at this weird looking bird on Jakku. It's called the steel pecker, which are carrion birds that only feed on metal as they are drawn to it by its magnetic signal. Nothing special about it though, it's just sitting there pecking at metal. Yeah. Moving on, another planet with a few bird-like creatures that are rather boring but worth mentioning is the forest moon of Endor. It houses the Gijaw, which is a bird-like flying reptile. It apparently can choose what species it belongs to, since it's both bird and reptile. Besides this one, you can also find the humming peeper flying around, which is quite similar to our own hummingbird. And the final creature worth mentioning is the lantern bird, 
who is more often prey than predator. There are also blue butterflies on the planet, but I didn't feel they were worth it to make a separate appendix. And of course, Andor houses the Ewoks as well, but they're sentient creatures and we weren't going with humanoids, we are going with actual animals. So as you can see, Andor is not home to any actual interesting non-sentient creatures, only birds and butterflies. Moving on, we arrive at our final destination, Hoth. The creature here can be recognized by anyone who has ever heard about Star Wars. They let you ride them and keep you warm by allowing you to crawl into their abdominal cavity. Of course, we're talking about the Tauntauns, bipedal creatures that are mostly used for traveling across Hoth and one of the only creatures that can be interacted with. You can actually ride them and they have multiple abilities, which makes them very interesting. Sadly, there are no Wampas on Hoth in Star Wars Battlefront 2, at least in the 2017 version. Those are the creatures that we could find in game. If you've found any other creatures, please let us know, preferably with a screenshot to go with it. And before we end the video, we want to know what was your favorite creature out of these that we listed. As mentioned before, pictures of the creatures in this video are linked in the description. Check that out if you're interested. For now, thanks for watching and please have a good day.